Uh, Paul, how's the week been? Yeah, it's been a, a good week of training, um, preparing for uh, for two fantastic games over the Easter weekend. Um, two teams who are going to be a real challenge for us, but great games for us to look forward to. And we've got to make sure that we continue with the way that we set about the game against Stevenage. Um, try and play with that type of style and that type of freedom but even better if we can go and finish it off properly Have you been able to look at the positives from that Stevenage game now that the frustration of the last 10 minutes has gone? Yeah the frustration's still there I'll be honest with you um, but no there, there were a lot of positives there was some good individual performances um, there was a there was a desire to win a game of football which Sounds really daft to have to, to highlight that, but there certainly was there against a good Stevenage side and uh, we're coming up against two good sides again. Peterborough, real attacking side, real threat in, in forward players with the pace that they've got. Um, but it's a brilliant opportunity for us to go and play with a bit of freedom. There's, there's no pressure on us. They, they need to win. They, they, they're up in those top places. They, they win their game in hand, they go into the uh, automatic places. They've got a big game at Wembley that they'll all be looking at for next week as well. So we've got to go and make the most of that opportunity and start the game well, start the game on the front foot and see if we can go and cause them a lot of problems. Just want to build on that performance from last week and go into the final seven games and get as many points as we can now. Yeah, that's all we can do. You know, we've we've got to make sure the performance is right and the desire and the enthusiasm's there. It's easy to just let it peter out, but I'm not. I'm, it's not something I want to do, and I'm not prepared to let that happen if I can do anything about it. So we want to go to Peterborough. We want to try and get a performance, hopefully come away with a positive result. Sets us up nicely for the Easter Monday game in front of our own fans. And we don't have a lot of home games left, so we've got to start giving our fans something, um, giving them something back. They've been magnificent over the season and it's time that we gave them something back in this little short period. Did everyone come through Saturday okay, injury-wise? Yeah, they did. Uh, you've got no, no issues from last weekend. Um, George Kelly has had a full week of training so he's going to come into the squad for the, the two games as well probably too early for him to start uh, well no not probably it's definitely too early for him to start but if we can get him introduced into it and maybe get him some minutes as the game goes on then we'll try and do that uh, but we've got to make sure we manage him properly because as I've said many times he's here for the long term and he's, he's a player who I'm hoping will, will really add something to the group Good to have Georgie as an option, but also good to get him travelling with the group and part of it. Yeah, well, I think he's had as frustrating a time as we've had with it in, in that he's not been able to be involved. Um, so it will be good to get him on, on the coach, to get, get down there with us and to be part of the group. He's already a big part of it because he's been in every day and doing all his rehab. And as I said, he's trained fully with the group uh, for, for a week now. So we'll see how he goes, um, but it's it's a good good to get him back involved, and uh, we'll see what goes. Has Josh Vella seen his surgeon yet? Uh, no, he's he's currently in there now. Um, the appointment that he did have, um, the the surgeon had to go and perform surgery, um, so we weren't able to uh, to get that appointment. But he's in there seeing the surgeon, and then he's heading up here, and we'll find out what the uh, what what the diagnosis is and what what the course of action will be. More importantly. You've said all season that Peterborough were one of the best sides we've played this season, so it's a good test for us. Oh no, it's a brilliant test for us. It's a, you know, it's a, it's a, a game that I remember when we played them here, um, and that first 20, 30 minutes, I thought they were outstanding. Um, other people I've spoken to as well said that they were the best side. So we know it's a, it's a brilliant game for us, a great game. I always always like going to Peterborough. It's a really tight ground. They've got very passionate fans. Our fans will make noise because they do everywhere they go. And um, we've just got to make sure that we're going to enjoy the, enjoy the occasion by enjoying our performance. I think they've scored the most goals in the league, so we have to be aware of that, but also want to be positive ourselves. Yeah, yeah, they're a, I say they're a good side, you know, with, with the players they've got. They, they've got three or four players who are all up in those top goal scorers. Um, so we know they're a threat. We know the way that they play. We also feel as though there's opportunities where we can, we can win the ball back and we can go and, go and cause them problems. And that's up to us to go and do that. We've got to make sure that we get our, our shape right, get, get our style right, and hopefully be able to get a positive result. People have probably already decided what they think the result will be, so we go with no pressure, which should mean that the lads can really give it everything. Well, I think that, that's, um, that's not just in this game. I think everybody's already decided what, what our fate's going to be this season. Um, all we can do is go and try and get some pride in our performance, get a level of performance that 
gives us a chance of getting a result like it was last weekend against Stevenage. And if we do that, we have to take whatever comes. Um, I'm quite sure there won't be many people who'll be gambling on a Carlisle United away win at Peterborough. Luckily, I don't gamble. It's not something I'm bothered about. I'm, I'm not, not concerning myself with that. The only thing I can focus on is getting our players prepared, which we have done this week, getting down there and trying to get a performance. Just last one, Stephen Rudd appointed as academy manager, an important position and a good appointment. I think so. Um, really important position. The, um, you know, the academy is something that's, that's been looked at. Um, the opportunity to came up with, with, uh, with Simon leaving um, and now Stephen Rudd has been appointed after a, you know, a, a good list of applicants who applied for the job, some experienced people. Um, but Stephen came through the interview process with, a, with everybody talking very positively. I think he'll bring some good leadership skills, some fantastic organisational skills. Um, he's a, a good coach as well, and he's got a real, real good personality as well as, as, well as having a, a strong personality. So I'm, I'm hoping that he's going to be a fantastic addition and he can come and now be part of, of making our academy a successful one.